Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. This is the last act, and the third horde is fast approaching, and we have work to do. So let's get upstairs here real quickly and see what is going on here at the base. We have a lot of remodeling to do and um, not a lot of time to do it in. I'm not sure if we're going to get to all of it tonight, but we, what we really have to focus on is the corridor. I need to knock out this staircase and push it back towards the front of the building and give us some space up here so that the zombies are at like level ground so we can hit them in the face. Anyway, I, I got a little bit of work done last night, put a little bit of uh, storage boxes in here so I have some stuff we can sell at the trader. I don't really think that the trader has much else that we need to buy from him, so uh, I apparently need to go through some of this stuff a little Oh, I need 9 mil. That's a kind of a thing here because uh, the Beretta Nano has no ammo left. I think I have like two bullets. So, uh, and the trader does have a bunch of 9 mils, so you know what? Err, uh, let's maybe... Do I have any skill points? I don't actually remember. I do have four. Okay, that is good news. And we've already taken the point to get advanced engineering, so what we need to do probably this morning is craft a forge. Perhaps we'll take a point into Master Chef. I'm gonna craft a cooking pot. We'll cook some breakfast. That way we have food out of the way. We don't have to spend our dukes on that anymore because I do have quite a few eggs. We can make some bacon and eggs and stuff like that. Then we'll just take it from there. We'll probably do some looting and then we'll come back and do some renovations. Okay, so all we need there to get the forge going is some clay. So let's head kind of down outside here somewhere and get some clay real quick. Okay, that should be enough for the forge. We'll get that crafted, and what do we have there? Uh, about a minute and 20 seconds until that's done. Okay, the forge is done. With the remainder of our resources there, we should probably get a little bit of cobble going, maybe like 400 of that, so we'll be good on that for a couple of days. Okay, we just slap down this forge anywhere, really. We'll probably do some reorganizing later once we get a general idea of how we want to lay out the base. For now, though, I'm going to put the iron and the clay soil in there. And just noticing now, we are also out of wood, so let's go chop down some trees! Before we get too far into that, though, I do want to spend these extra skill points, because we can just take one into Miner 69er, one into Mother Load, and, like, maybe one more into Miner 69er. That way, we're just going to be, like, really good at mining and stuff, so we don't have to spend all day doing it. Oh, right, and then this is a big issue. Zombies getting stuck out here, so I'm going to knock a couple of these out so they don't have that problem tonight. Okay, that should probably help a little bit. And that should hold us over for a few days on the wood. Okay, we are back at the base here. We got a little bit of iron smelted in here. I want to get a little bit more, but for now, I need this uh, cooking pot. Okay, let's get this campfire down here and a cooking pot on it. Get that fire going and get some breakfast cooking. All right, I also got a cooking grill here. I'm going to toss that on and just get probably a couple of grilled meats here. Uh, just so we have a little bit of extra food cooking for later. And with the remainder of this crap, let's go sell it real quick and then we'll come back. Uh, actually, we'll do that, um, we have a tier one, uh, clear zombies, I think. Let's activate that real quick, just to, so we know where we're going. 191 meters from here. Let's get it on the map, and that is right over there. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna go clear that area. We'll get the reward, we'll sell all of our stuff, we'll buy whatever's left over that we need to buy before the trader restocks tomorrow. We'll grab a new quest and then perhaps, um, I don't know, we'll see what we're doing from there. We're kind of playing it by ear here. I don't have much of a plan. All right, here we are at the little passing gas here. This is not the one that we cleared out before, so this is a fresh run. All right, I wonder if there is... Oh, holy crap, ow! Get out of here. Uh, I think the loot is on the ceiling. I was thinking maybe we could like double loot it real quick, but that's kind of a cheap thing to do. We already got the loot turned up. We don't need the double loot. Let's hit it. Oh, <laughs> We get double zombies. Oh shit, this is bad. Wow! Oh my god, my aim is so bad. 
Okay, hopefully that's it for zombies. Uh, let's just take a bandage. I'm not too worried about first aid right now because uh, we've got the recipe to craft bandages. So we should be good. And with loot turned up, every time we hit up like a, a medical pile or whatever, or like a passing gas or a popping pills box, we'll be good. Yeah, look at that, painkillers. Let's just take one of those right off the bat. Oh, and some sham. Wow, we're gonna be eating good. Oh, there's a, uh, whoop, zombie, wow. Oh, it's telling me where the zombies are. They're down here in the basement portion of this little thing, and these collapse, so you gotta be careful. All right, guns reloaded. We are low on ammo, though, so we should probably save this for tonight. Come on up here. All right, one more. I think we can take him. Well, <laughs> not if you hit the friggin' pipe with your first power attack. All right, that was it for the quest, and I don't think there's any loot down here, so up and out. Destroyed workbench. Whoops, almost fell through the floor. Ooh, cement mixer schematic. Not particularly useful, because I think we're going to unlock that relatively quickly if we haven't already. I think, actually, maybe we have already. Nine mil, that is good to have, and a press point cap mod. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow. Tier 4 scrap helmet. We can wear that. A rat remover, barrel extender mod, another nano, and a bunch of ammo. Good stuff. Okay, and with that, I think we're probably good here. Just uh, kind of clean up the junk while we're here. Oh, wow. Tier 6, or a quality 6, I should say, uh, stone shovel. So that'll replace the one we have there. And we've got this a hatchet schematic. This is the first schematic I found for a non-vanilla item. So I guess we'll read that and we'll sell the other one. Yeah, okay. Don't uh, jump off the building. You don't have parkour. All right, we're heavy, so we're moving slow, but we'll make it there eventually. Oh, look at this, uh, an M1 schematic. Wow, an M1, that is a cool gun. I would craft that, I think, if I could. Man, all kinds of cool stuff to find. Definitely going to be refreshing to have some just just some new stuff to explore before we get to Alpha 20. Then we get all kinds of more new stuff to explore. All right, Joel. Thank you, Survivor. Ooh, helmet light mod. Already got one, but 209 mil ammo. Damn, couldn't ask for a much better reward than that. What else you got, bud? Oh, he's just offering me all the shit that's like halfway across the planet right now. No thanks. We'll get a job tomorrow. All right, real quick, let's get all this crap out of our inventory. Alright, we did get a couple of skill points there, and uh, I got one earlier this morning, so we have two now. It might maybe be time to go into Better Barter. Could I do level two there? I could. I could also do Advanced Engineering, which would give me workbenches and cement mixers. I don't need the cement mixer, and I cannot craft the workbench just yet because I don't have a wrench. So... Uh, decisions here. I think maybe it's probably time to go into better barter a little bit. Maybe Daring Adventurer? Yes, Daring Adventurer, but not today because we don't have a quest today. Better barter is probably going to help us more right this minute as we're about to sell and buy. So I'm just going to check my uh, equipment here real quick. Uh, let's get the helmet light off of this and get the new helmet on. I'll go ahead and wear that press boy cap so I don't look like a friggin' loser. Well, as much of a loser at least. Got some quality three leg armor there. Not bad. Okay, otherwise I think we're good to sell. Okay, I think that will probably do it. Let's buy. Yeah, on second thought, he doesn't really have anything that I'm terribly excited to have, so I think I'll save the money for tomorrow when he restocks. Also, we have a ton of vending machines to check. Nothing in that one, really. Skull Crushers, we'll take those. Rockbusters 2, nice. Skull Crushers, eye candy, sugar butts. Rockbusters. And a health bar to close things out. Good enough. Okay, back to doggos real quick. You can take that nano back and get it reloaded. All right, the thing to do now would be to get this fighting position all ship shape and ready to go for tonight. One quick little modification to make would be to do this right here, followed perhaps by 
this right here, and this is just to keep the zombies from stacking on top of each other too much. Give us a bit of a buffer before they start knocking down that uh, cobble block right there. Okay, now we gotta knock this out and extend it a little further that way. While I'm waiting for some stamina, I'm just gonna get the next portion of this done. It's gonna be on face with these little logs right here. I first saw this type of a base build from uh, a creator called He Who Is Seth. So not exactly my original design, but I, it does work well. I have used it. And uh, we're gonna give it a try here for this series as well. Okay, so at that point right there, we will just bring this all the way down and get this upgraded. It's unfortunately taking a lot more energy than I anticipated. All right, things are shaping up nicely here. Not too bad at all. Oh, look at that. Sneaky loot. Give me that. Oh, some salmon there and our first thunderclap of the evening. Uh-oh, I need to do repairs on my little hammer thing. My little hatchet. Um, I don't think I have repair kits either. Not a damn one of them. And I don't have any forged iron either. I could probably make some real quick. Yeah, give me like, uh, I don't know, 20 of that or so? Because then I can make these bars over here into... Oh, actually, those bars are on the wrong side. Ideally, we want bars on both sides, but another trick I've been doing lately is putting a hatch on one side, a little trick I picked up from uh, one of the Patreons on their on the multiplayer server at their base. They put a hatch on the back side there, so I want to try that out as well. Okay, so give me some of that forged iron, and I believe I need duct tape now to make uh, just a quick handful of repair kits. Okay, first repair kit's done. Get that hatchet going. Knock that out. Slap that down, beef it up with some metal, upgrade to iron, and beef that up as well. There we go, that'll hold. Okay, so if I do these little um, ramp blocks upside down... Oh, that's the wrong button there. Ramp blocks upside down and then upgrade these. I think the zombies will be able to path kind of right across here, or right under this, no problem. And then I'm inclined to just kind of like put this here like this, just so that I'm pretty certain they're not going to jump across or do anything unpredictable. However, now that I'm looking at it, I'm increasingly concerned that that's exactly what they're going to do. Okay, that should probably do it for now. I think this will hold for tonight. Maybe just get a couple little, like, accessory things upgraded here and there. And I'm out of cobble. So get some more of that. Uh, clay and small stone, not exactly useful to me right now. The cobblestone is very useful, though. Not sure if zombies can actually stand on this little molding piece or not, but I don't care to find out either. All right, so here it is, basically. I don't know that I need to really upgrade these two too much, but, um, yeah, we need a little uh, staircase for them to get up right here, and uh, I think we're probably good after that. Yeah, we're gonna dress this all up, don't worry. Give me a couple of weeks here, and I'll have this all looking spick and spam. So I've been kind of thinking about the weapons we're using, and this crowbar is a club. However, if I were to take a point into Skull Crusher, which I'm going to do, I'm, I think I'll just end up using a Stone Sledgehammer tonight. Because it has better knockdown power, and that's kind of the key. I've got to be able to knock the zombies down so that they're not beating on the base quite so bad. And the club is just not really doing that for me. So for now, I'm going to deposit the club away. All right, we have an, uh, about an hour left. I'm just going to get some last-minute upgrades done, like the floor and stuff like that. All right, we're looking pretty good, my friends, and the horde is almost upon us. All right, we'll try and fight him first here. Might as well, we've got this little position here. Oh, skill point. I will immediately take that into Skull Crusher, please. Thank you. Oh, shit. They're fucking me up already. Get this coffee into us. Drinks will stack up to three times, don't forget that. Do some quick repairs. Good. Screw you guys. Okay. Quickly repair. Oh, jeez. Get that top back off again. Please. One more. There we go. Alright. We'll take some grilled meat. We get a little bit of a stamina bonus for that. Oh, man. They're, they're ripping right through this thing. Stop. 
I, I can't get that upgraded again. We have to fight him off a little bit. Ow! Oh, man! I've got an abrasion! Eat some painkillers! Oh, that's about to get really destroyed. Okay, time to leave. Alright, are they in? Can I see him? I can see him. Here they come. Ah, they're still very short, but it's better than it was last night. And they, they roll right off the log. I love it. So they'll just recycle. I don't think they can stack more than, like, two wide here. Maybe not even that. Maybe just one wide. Before they just kind of roll off the edge there. Okay, quick break. We gotta make sure these blocks are topped off. That's the bumper. That's what we call that little piece at the end there. The bumper before you get to the plate. And then we have a rear bumper as well. I actually never upgraded this. I didn't get the forged iron either. Give me that. Okay, upgrade that to iron. Good. Yeah, at this rate, I don't think that we're going to need to use the guns at least very much tonight. And my preference would be to use the nano over the shotgun. Too bad the sledgehammer perk doesn't work for regular hammers, too, because this isn't a half bad weapon, it seems. Ooh, another skill point. Guess what we're going to take with that one? <laughs> skull crusher again. I might even just see if I can make another one real quick. Oh, I heard a block break. That's never what you want to hear. So another stone sledgehammer, that'll be a quality four. And I can actually probably get a good look at what they're doing. I don't know what that block breaking was, because the bumper's looking fine over there. Okay, let's get that uh, mod changed over here real quick. Good deal. Yeah, I like this quite a lot better. I feel like I'm using just as much stamina, but I'm getting more bang for my buck as well. Good for headshots, good for knockdown. This is a good weapon. Oh, I'm out of cobble. I, I, I have the stuff to make more, though. Give me all the cobble again. I keep canceling it to do other things. Whoops. We have lost the top bumper, at least. I might just quickly try copy rotation there. Let's see if I can get that replaced here in just a second. That was our chance. Got it. Now it's just a matter of upgrading it. There we go. You guys suck at this. Send me some professional zombies. Oh, look at this guy. This is why we have the bars there. And if things got really hairy, we could put the hatch up. The hatch has a lot more hit points than does the bars. Sounds very quiet now. That might have been about it. There is one more zombie down there, and here he comes. I hear another, and he's right there. There he goes. I think he lost his legs and he was stuck down there. Okay, really quickly here, put this hatch down. Just upgrade that a little. I'm out of iron now, so that we'll have to go try to find some to mine, or at least break down some cars or something today. That's it, just that one loot bag it looks like. And fortunately, I don't see that they have worked their way in through the back yet. They're content to just come in through the front, and I like that. All right, well, it's still... Oh, here's another loot bag. I, I'm not... Oh, this is uh, from early in the night, I would imagine, before we moved back up to the top. Ooh, more ammo, some shotgun, and everything. Cool. Um, might as well probably do something tonight. I'm probably going to be out here, and there's going to be a freaking horde of zombies that spring on me and just murder me, but eh, I'm going to chance it. I am infected, so that's kind of a thing. Um, I kind of want to come through here and see if I can find a wrench. Ooh, this uh, quality six stone shovel one shots those uh, pallets. It's it's just nice. I love that. Uh oh. Ah, get that friggin' soup out of your face and get the sledgehammer out. Good source of wood right here. 
Ooh, another skill point tonight. Loving this. I think with this point here, we're going to go into uh, perhaps the Daring Adventurer so that we will, when we do a quest later on today, we'll get a better reward for it. In fact, we'll get two rewards for it. Whoa, son of a bitch, jump the crap out of me. Ooh, nice. Good stuff. All right, I'm encumbered as all hell, but I feel like we can probably continue pushing on. Put one into her ankle. Oh, you are not supposed to be able to do that. Stop it. Here we go. This is what we're looking for right here. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, that's the good stuff right there. Workbench schematic. And with that, I don't think we have to go into advanced engineering anymore for quite a while because we've already got the workbench and the cement mixer schematics. Bunch of lockpicks right there, too. Oh, yes. This is the boss fight. Oh, my God. I, I'm, I'm encumbered. It's really bad. Oh. Um, did they forget about me? Or what are they doing? No, they found me. Oh, we're good here. We took one hit, but... That's not bad for, like, a, a main loot boss fight. And here we go. Scrap that barracks chair and that can. What do you got for me? An ergonomic grip mod. Excellent find there. And this iron spear, which is really not good for much. I think I'll probably just put it into the forge for the iron over there. All right, back to the base. Enough fun for one night. All right, and we are back home. So now that the Horde base is pretty much good to go, we just need to do some upgrades. We'll renovate, we'll expand, we'll make this bigger and better as we go along. But now I think we can really focus on looting and killing zombies and questing and leveling up and all that stuff. Anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, the Horde has been dispatched and we can finally call it a day. I'll get this place cleaned up and we'll start making preparations for the next Horde later in the morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today and good night. While you're waiting for the next video, check out the links below for more content, ways to support the channel, and ways to become a nerd of steel. You can catch me on the Discord, Twitter, at the weekly live stream, or in the comments section down below. Huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters who help grow and shape this channel. My name is Temriki, and I hope that I've earned your subscription today. I'll see you next time.